Hi, hello, welcome back to Sneaky Random Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you basically how to configure NVIDIA's GeForce Experience. Um, I used this uh, when I started out making, um, when I first built my computer. Um, obviously I don't really use it too much now. I use Streamlabs OBS. Um, if you want me to make a video on it, um, I will gladly make a video on it. If you would like, let me know in the comment section. But today we're going to be doing NVIDIA's um, GeForce Experience. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that. Also, I'm at 22 subscribers, which is pretty crazy. Also, my videos have been mainly getting around 80 views and higher. Obviously, this one hasn't reached that point yet, but um, I'm, I really, really appreciate you guys, honestly. It's, it's honestly crazy because this video has 4.7 k views and like i never thought i'd even get that far and like it's just crazy to me how you guys how you guys are just like supporting me and everything it's really cool um knowing that i can help someone else um online so anyway we're gonna go ahead and go to the geforce website and i will leave this in the description below so um go ahead and hit download now um before you do that i'd make sure that you'd want to read all this first um so you can stream, you can record, you can um, pretty much have optimal game performance. And I will go over all those things with you and what type of settings. It'll tell you what kind of card you have, what kind of CPU you have, what operating system. Also, it is like VR and stuff like that. So um, has options for VR. So go ahead and just download it. Um, and then we're going to go here back to geforce and it's going to take us to our home basically all the games that it's optimized um, would have the green check and the ones that don't don't have the green check um, the reason i do this i have low settings for pretty much all my games only because i want more frames um, anyway um so it's more so of uh what you want out of your games i guess it's kind of like an optimal it's like totally up to you also, if you don't want to hit optimize and go ahead and hit this, just a little gear icon and you can select window borderless and what you will kind of screen res you want. And like, it's pretty cool. Um, it doesn't do all games, um, but it does most. Um, so um, right here is the drivers. This is for optimal um, like gaming performance. If you like you don't need to download this at all for nvidia's graphics cards um it's more optional than anything it's just drivers that help it run better i guess i mean i just use it for like like this if i don't know what to like put my games on and like i can't remember like what's the default and like the reset's not working in game i'll just come back over here and i'll just use this um, so these are going to be the drivers. Obviously, I don't have any drivers right now. This is the last time that it installed right here and kind of talks about it. You can kind of look them up to see what changed in the new software. Um, let's see. Go here to settings. Um, right here is new. This scalable render thing. I don't use it um, only because I prefer to do it on my own. So this is my specs right here, 1660 Ti. So it'll show you your rig, um, and then Ryzen 5 2600 and 16 gigabytes of RAM, and then my monitor and the current monitor that I'm using, which is a 144 hertz, right? So obviously this would be different for you. Um, so if you want in-game overlay, this basically is what we'll do Alt Z, and this is what GeForce Experience is. So for instant replay if you turn it on um, depending on what you have it on you can change it to in-game 4k 1440p whatever this should be at 1080 the bit rate should be at uh, whatever your um, internet stops at or if you can go any higher obviously I have mine at max this one max 20 minutes they also have like defaults uh, this um, just high medium low i just do custom it's just easier that way for me um also this instant replay thing um if you hit it for 20 minutes and say like the game wasn't even long that long you can also trim it 
do however long you want. If you have like a favorite clip, then I usually just turn on instant replay. You can take a screenshot, photo mode, game filter. Game filters are really cool. Photo mode's really cool too. Um, it's just co like cool little features that you can use. Uh, this is the recording. Uh, obviously it does it by bit rate and minutes and resolution broadcasts. You can click on settings. I have my Twitch set up. It supports Facebook and YouTube and then Twitch. So yeah. Anyway, um, click on performance. This is new. This is the new thing that I was talking about. It kind of calculates your temps, your memory clock speeds, your fan speeds, GPU power, your wattage, everything, voltage, um, which I think is very cool. Obviously, I'm not playing anything right now, so that's why it doesn't show any FPS or FPS cap. Um, it doesn't show any latency either. Um, GPU temperature, which I think is very nice because um, they didn't have this before, and I was like really excited for when they had something like this. That I could see like how my temps are going, and you know what I need to do about those things um, but I don't touch any of this um, just leave it max capacity 83c which is pretty damn hot um, I don't see it going going any higher than that hopefully it doesn't reach that level because that's really warm but um, anyway let's see uh, let's see a game stream um, this doesn't really matter it does but it doesn't um, I don't usually pay any attention to it. This is kind of like a recommendation of like full system requirements and it does that for in-game overlay, freestyle, which you can read up on that too. Um, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. And to turn on overlay, just click that, hit settings, and you can connect, um, your, um, stream youtube it pretty much has a lot here uh if you want to see me stream it's gassy ninja uh <laughs> my little villager from uh animal crossing there there's plenty of other things uh to stream on here also hud layout this is status indicator that you are recording or streaming performance you can always put down at the bottom um basic advanced as you can see right here it's changing latency um, I just turned mine off. There's no point. I already have, you know, Apex has in-game um, FPS and like stuff like that. Um, so viewers, you can put it down here if you'd like. Comments up there. I don't have any of those turned on. I just have the status indicator that I'm actually recording or streaming. I feel like that helps out a lot to see if I'm actually doing something. Uh, shortcuts here, you can always reprogram them. Um, it's a uh, basically a recording key press so you can change these go ahead and hit back recordings where you want your recordings folder to go you can map those out um, broadcasting I went over this earlier highlights I have a folder for highlights and maximum disk space so I don't hog up too much space on my disk drive or SSD hard drive whatever external um, it'll cap it at this maximum so which i think is very nice really good feature photo mode game filter we went over that audio this is a big one every time when you want to let's say you want to record just hit settings hold on right here you could do push to talk um obviously there's a button for that you could hit always on or you could turn it off whenever you do a recording for gameplay or if you want to hear your own self you can even add a video obviously i can't use the video right now because i'm using it for this video but um yeah that's pretty much it this is the gallery i don't have anything to show because i don't have anything but um notifications wise you can play with these and privacy control it's good to have that um and we went over latency um just do 20 I just leave it on 20 it's better that way just better connection but yeah that's pretty much it hopefully you guys liked the video um, hopefully i wasn't talking too fast um thank you guys so much for watching also i plan on getting a new camera finally um hopefully in the next video um my discord is launching very very soon i'm still working on it i've been lagging on it i'm sorry but um 
I will have that up. Um, so if you guys have any Windows problems, any anything console, whatever, uh, you can always hit me up on there when I launch it. I'm not too sure when I'm going to be able to do that. I am going to work on it today. So hopefully by next video, I'll have it ready to go. Um, but anyway, hopefully you guys like the video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.